How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. My typical videos tries to put money in your pocket in various ways, but have you ever noticed if you just watch your bank account increase by $100 or $1,000, you personally don't feel all that much richer. Now I have data to back this up mainly through my own personal experiences. I've seen my net worth increase 10, 20%. I've even seen it double multiple times. But through all this, I never actually felt richer. Yeah, sure, I'm a little bit more secure, but then I do not feel twice as rich or anything. In fact, I can't even say I feel 50% richer even. The fact of the matter is most people who are saving a lot, they kind of keep their lifestyle the same. They do not spend extra money just because they're making more. So this number that appears on your bank account, sure, it's nice that it's increasing all the time, but it has very little bearing towards my mood and how happy that I feel. Now, if you somehow inflate your lifestyle, you're only going to feel that you're a little bit richer when you do the inflation itself. And you can only do this multiple times before you run into trouble and that you're spending way more than you actually earn. So it's really good to not inflate your lifestyle in order to feel richer. Now let's talk about what actually makes me feel richer. Certain experiences when I've gone through it makes me feel maybe 10, 20% uh, a little bit richer, even though the cash amount that's in my bank account never really increase. It just sort of makes me feel a little bit more appreciative of what I actually have already. It's like that saying, you need to appreciate what you already have rather than going around chasing things that you do not have. Because if you're doing that, you're just sort of keeping up with the Joneses and chasing something that's better and better. You'll never reach it and you'll always be unhappy. So you just got to step back a little bit and look at what you already have and be happy with that. Then you'll be in a state of mind where you're always happy. Now, what I experienced myself is that I've personally gained more happiness by framing myself in a new perspective. And I don't do this just by looking at something and go, oh yeah, you know, I'm just going to think about um, being more happy with what I already have. There are certain things you can do to force this. Now, how do you force this? There's a lot of things that people take for granted from day to day. If you're used to a certain luxury, try to live without it for a week. This is only temporary, only to give you a frame of mind. You do not have to live without this forever, of course. So this is more like an experiment on yourself to see, you know, kind of put yourself in a uh, less comfortable position than you already are to see what it's like to live without the comforts that you're already so numb and so used to. Now, personally, I do not think you can just imagine not having certain things. For example, let's say I have a car and I need to be grateful of how great it is to actually own your own car so that you can just go anywhere very quickly. You can certainly go, okay, yeah, I know what it's gonna be like without a car. I need to walk really far, you know, two, three, five miles to get the groceries or something. But if you actually do it yourself, you actually need to uh, spend the effort, you know, half an hour or one hour to walk to the grocery store, get something, bring it all back. You have that life experience. You know how hard it is. You have firsthand experience on how hard it is. All of a sudden, you do this for even one time. The next time you do it, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how great it is to have a car, have a trunk, and not actually have to carry it with your hands. I think experiencing something is certainly worth a lot more than just thinking about it, and you really just have to go through with it even if it's just one time. Now, here are a few more examples. Some people like to travel to gain perspective. When you travel to a new country or something, you see the poverty. Suddenly when you go back home, you're gonna be a lot more appreciative of what you already have. Now I have to say, even through my really low cost traveling, it still costs a significant amount. It might cost, I don't know, $50 at the minimum to maybe $100. It depends on where you actually go. But thinking about it in terms of how much you spend per day, this is still a lot compared to a low cost, low burning mode when you're just staying at home. Now, my argument here is that you actually do not have to go somewhere far in order to gain perspective. I've done this before without going anywhere. I went to uh, get various odd jobs. I volunteered and stuff. And then through these positions, I realized how different it is to live as someone else basically. And then you get a lot more appreciative of what you already have. Another thing that you can do to make yourself richer is to 
not try to move in into the richest neighborhood that you can afford, but be the richest person in the poorest neighborhood that you can buy into. Now, when you do this, it's sort of funny to kind of say this because most people, they want to live as maximally as possible. They want to have as good a neighborhood as they can afford. But if you move to a neighborhood that's, you know, one step or two step lower, but then you have a lot more disposable income, you're going to feel a lot more richer. And just from interacting from everybody within your neighborhood, or, you know, you can just observe other people, you're going to have a constant reminder, which is the most important thing. Every single day, you're going to be reminded of what a great position you are in. You're going to see other people that's not in as good a financial position, and you're going to have a constant reminder. And this is the key point here. Every single day, you're going to be reminded that you are in a better off position. You're going to be reminded how lucky you are. And then in turn, you're going to feel a lot more happy. I personally am not a camping type of person. But when I do go camping, sometimes I go with people that knows how to camp a lot better than I do. But usually whenever I go to something like that, I suddenly realize how important water is. Having hot running water, you really um, appreciate this when you go home. Having a shower, having a nice flat bed to sleep in, having a place that doesn't have mosquitoes flying around everywhere, having the luxuries of having a regular home. Now, one of the latest experiments I did, this was not intentional. It was more of trying to um, do something new, which is to sleep in a car. But after doing that, I personally realized what a nice uh, flat sleeping surface is and what having good security in a home where you can actually sleep throughout the night without worry of, you know, something or someone waking you up or bothering you. And this makes me super appreciative of what I already have and what I took for granted for a really, really long time. I did not even notice it was there. I was just so numb to it. I just go, oh yeah, you know, that's just normal everyday thing. But, you know, little did I realize that that is not a normal everyday thing. This is a luxury that I've grown accustomed to and it just sort of faded into the background for me. So this is a great thing for me personally. And I think if you look at every little luxury that you have, maybe you have uh, food on the table all the time. Maybe you have, uh, you know, clean running water. You also have a nice flat sleeping surface. These are the things that you can do to put your frame of mind back into perspective, put it back into a mode where you appreciate more of what you already have. So thanks for watching everybody. I know this video is kind of unconventional. I'm not sure if there are any videos like this out there, but I feel like putting monetary money in your pocket through various hacks, through various methods, credit cards or whatnot, it's just as important as you actually feeling richer. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if these tips help you and if you're actually gonna follow one of the things that I suggest. If you're interested in supporting this channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook or the service, you can cancel it before it expires and you can still keep this audiobook for free and help benefit this channel. And as always, don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.